There are rounds flying all through the sky. What is this? It's a kamikaze run right over here. He's going right down. Hello, everybody. Grace Joe Blazer. We're back with more Total Tank Simulator. I'm still getting people that are like, Gray, that's you? I'm all over Twitter and Facebook and I play VR games and I'm doing vlogs and stuff like that. And now it's like an internal joke in the in the channel because originally people were like, Gray, you don't look like how you sound. And now people are like, Gray, you don't look like you would have a pet cat with how you sound. Or Gray, you don't look like you would be left-handed because of how you look. I don't know. Anyway, you guys had mentioned you want to see some of the hard campaign stuff. We're going to do a little of that. In fact, I want to try the impossible level because I want to know how hard it really is. The other thing that you guys wanted to see is, of course, more aerial battles, huge artillery barrages, and then some other, like, setup special battles over more nations. Oh, I guess this is like, you know, coming soon, more nations. Let's go back over to the American battle. We're in level two. It says, well done, Commander. Now it's time to move on. Germans have built up heavy fortifications in eastern France. It is critical to neutralize them. By the way, Germans are using a weapon called the Goliath. Use proper tactics and limit possible losses. So for this, we are... Now, can you change the difficulty once you get into something? I assume you can't. I assume once you choose the difficulty, you're stuck like that. If so, what we'll do is we'll probably, like, reset the campaign just to... Oh, oh, maybe you can. Oh, can you do impossible? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're on impossible difficulty. Oh, it shows you what there is? What do we have over here? Oh, mother of God. What is all this? <laughs> oh, boy. That is a crap ton of freaking landmines. Like, we're talking about a crap ton of landmines, as well as a bunch of Goliath remote mine creator thingies. Okay, so we're going to need for sure. How much do we have? 12,000? Wow, not much. Okay, we're going to need a crab. Actually, we're probably going to need a couple of crabs. Yes, folks, we've got crabs. Laugh it up. While we're doing that, anti- or not anti-air, but I should say bombers are going to be super important. In fact, if I can get- I, mean, I almost want three bombers. If I can get three bombers out here- Now, some people have mentioned, too, they like the first person, they don't like the first person. When we're doing difficulty battles like this, I think it's definitely best- to from time to time go into first person mode because you can get so much work done in first person mode. Get a couple of rocket launchers down here. Uh, we're gonna need some beef up front, like some real heavy beef. How, how, how much is this classified? Okay, so yeah, people are asking, are some of the technologies locked? Well, the B-29 is locked. Everything else is open though. I remember originally you could, uh, you could not have like half of this stuff. But now it seems to be open. The artillery is going to get blocked unless we put it... I don't know, man. Even if we put it up on this ridge... Well, you know what? It may actually do pretty good. Hold on. Let's um, let's put some regular artillery up here. They may... Let's, let's, check this, let's check this berm out. Yeah, they may get some shots in up there. All right. So we've got a decent setup over there. And then we're going to put down just some, just some nice heavy beaters. Let's... Uh, tank destroyers, no... Let's do, yeah, let's do a couple of these right up here in the front. These guys are going to take the brunt of the damage. And then we'll follow it up with probably a bunch of medium lees. And this is, this is going to kind of be like our backbone over here in the rear. And we should have just enough for him. Yeah, we sure do. In fact, we have 100 bucks left. All right, here's our setup. How hard is impossible difficulty? Oh, also, I, didn't, I don't think I showed this before. If you press F11 when you're playing the game, you get all the different controls. Yeah, you could use, I think it's P. Yeah, P to show statistics. I don't use it a lot because I like, I like the look of the game. I don't know how else to say it. Like, I like seeing the game without a lot of the uh, hit points and stuff. Like, I understand from a game mechanics side, it's probably better to see it. I'm kind of going from a, from an aesthetic side though. Oh, the other thing is too, and I didn't do it enough, is you can switch the turrets with F1, F2, F3, F4. All right, boys, start off. Here we go. Where did it put me? Where the hell am I? Why did it throw me way over here? Artillery, where are you? There we go. Yes! Okay, good. Good. Now you can shoot from the hip over here if you want to. It's pretty tough though. Yeah, we're not. I don't think we're going to go ahead. Dude. <laughs> Look at my round going flying into the distance. Oh, mother of God. Okay, come on. 
Aim down, aim down. Artillery. Crap. Yeah, we're gonna have to get into that. We're gonna have to get into this valley somehow. Let me get out of this and let uh, let them do their thing. Down here, what do we have? We have the crabs kind of doing their thing. Oh, look at these bombers. Look at these bombers. The calliope was a bad choice. There's just too much land in the way. These bombers should hit pretty hard, though. They're coming in. Did you guys lay down the law already or what? Where's it? Has the law been laid? Where's the law at? I want to see it. Let's raise up a little bit here. Right over here, we have several critters laying down. We got targets hit. I don't even know who hit the target. I'm not a part of anything. That's a little odd. I know I said that for your best possible usage, you should probably take advantage of using... What are you guys bombing? There's like one thing way over here. And we just took it out. Three targets hit. Ooh, that's pretty good. Holy God. Oh, this is bad. This is bad in a way that things are very bad. Um, come here. Come here, Lee. Run. Oh, for the love of God, run. Run all day. Hold on, let... Let's do... Oh, my God. Oh, the Goliath rounds. Oh, the Goliath rounds are horrifying. This thing over here... How are the Calliopes going to be able to handle this? They are just showering this thing with rockets. But look at it just... Oh, no. Oh, oh thank God. That tree just got in the way. Like, you don't even know right now. Calliope, go, go, go. Fire, fire, fire. The Germans are getting hurt. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Calliope? What are you doing? You're firing your turret. You're firing your turret. For the love of God. Back up. Back up. God. <laughs> oh, the mouse. Oh, I should have just let it do it itself. Do we have, What do we have that's left over here? Hold on. Let's raise on up. Still a lot of stuff down here. Our bomber planes circling overhead. Are they armed? Are they dropping anything? Oh, here we go. Yep, we got a bomb incoming. God, that, that mouse is just... Freaking tough. Finally, it got taken down. It legit took forever, but finally it's down. Now, the problem here is, do we have enough firepower to win the day? I Maybe we do. There's a few Goliath mines. You can see them. Is that a Goliath mine right there? That is definitely a Goliath mine. I was going to say, we've got a few Goliath mines coming in. Oh, no. I should have thought about this. We have nothing to defend. The Goliath mines are going to end up taking out our airfields unless we can destroy... What's... Oh, no. This is so bad. The Goliath mine. Unimpeded comes right into our airfield. The airfield now on fire. Probably, it's possible even just a P-51 could have done well. Oh, no. I think we're going to lose it. I think we're going to lose it. Do we have any artillery left up here? Everything looks like it's just, in, just, just completely and utterly obliterated. A couple of tanks, one airfield. Another plane over here. Whoa, that was a big miss. Oh, the missage. All right. Gray's taking the helm. Gray's taking the helm. Bomb the way. Right over there. How did we do? Yes. That was a good hit. Okay. We got one hit in. We're going to have to bank hard, though. We've got one bomb left. I think I think our brother over there got it, maybe? Nope. Still, still going. All right, boys. This is bad. We got a tank literally coming into our base right now. It's going to be able to take... Yep, our base just got shots taken out. No! I'll run into you if I have to. All right, we're going to try this one more time. Impossible mode, still doing our thing. The big difference is, is right now I took out one of the bombers, put a P-51 in there, and now there's a bunker out in front. The bunker's purpose is going to be to try and take down those Goliath mines. What was that? These two tanks just ran into this rock. Come on, man. Help a brother out over here. Poor Gray's gonna have to do everything in his damn self. Look at... Oh, 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 hold on. Let's see if I can take out that Goliath mine. Oh, crap. Okay, good. That Goliath mine didn't end up hitting anything. Come here, come here, come here. And fire. Oh, I was way behind. Way behind. Oh, it's gonna get in the back lines. It's gonna get in the back lines. That is bad in ways that bad cannot even be easily comprehended. Ow! I think we just got Goliath mine, boys. That's all right. We can take a couple more of those. We can take a couple more of those. No big deal. Hold on. Let's go ahead and zoom in over here. Let's go ahead and zoom in over here. We may even be able to aim up decently well. If I can get... Ow! 
freaking Goliath mind. I hate you so much, you Goliath dirtbag. Go ahead. Come on over the berm. Whoa! Holy crap! Oh, one of the Goliath mine factories is down. That's actually fantastic. Goliath mine's kind of blowing up on the sides of us, which is pretty good. Was that an artillery shell that just went past us? I think it was. What is that? Something right over here. That's a landmine. That right there is, is in fact a landmine. Let's continue to push back. All right, so far so good. So far so good. I think there was a Goliath mine coming over. Yeah, right over there. I don't know if I can hit it from here. Whoa. Look at it flying all over the place. Come here, Goliath mine. You sucker. Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh no, that was too low. That was too low. Goliath mine incoming, boys. Oh, it missed. Go down. Oh, they're so, they're so speedy. Now they're gonna hit the rear. Oh, just took out a landmine right there. So you can shoot the landmines. That's pretty good. Looks like there's a couple of other landmines over here. Oh, hold on. I think we got this in the bag, boys. There's one other critter somewhere around here. Where where are you? There it is. It's a tiger. And the tiger is getting freaking nuked from orbit by all of our different bombers. Actually, the bombers are doing real well. Target immobilized. Target immobilized from a big bombing run right there. And we managed to take it. Holy crap. We did it. The impossible board. That's freaking sweet. So... The impossible boards are uh, totally possible. It just takes a lot of effort. In fact, I probably would have been better off just letting the damn game play instead of me taking control of stuff. I think I did nothing but screw everything up. Well, I may have... <laughs> I may have gotten the attention of a couple of Goliath mines. Let's go real quick over to the sandbox and mess around real quick over in there. All right, America has been getting a lot of time in the sun. So we're going to do some stuff over here with the Soviets and Germany. Aerial battles versus anti-air. Can the anti-air stuff do well enough to keep the German Air Force away from the back bunkers and stuff like that? Let's give it a shot. See what kind of aerial stuff we can get done here. Okay, so over here on the Soviet side, we have a very, very hard fixed position. We've got bunkers, we've got artillery, heavy artillery, we've got anti-air, and a couple of mobile anti-air too, just for kicks. And then over here on the German side, it is all planes all the time, as well as two things to soak up damage. We've got two of, yes, right over here, the ultra heavy, right there, 10,000 money. It also actually works pretty good for getting the costs just about appropriate. Let's start things off. Germans versus the Soviets. Who will come out on top? The various... Are you guys just going to run right into the... Okay, good. I was about to say, if you guys run straight into the artillery, I am going to be friggin' pissed. Look. Look at the sky. The sky is just filled with death. And here we go. Hold on. Let's go ahead and slow things down. As the anti-air begins to take shots way up ahead. You can see those dive bombers are going to be coming in soon. There are rounds flying all through the sky. What is this? It's a kamikaze run right over here. He's going right down. Yes! Right into the middle of all these different vehicles. Did some damage, but it looks like they're all still working. Oh, we gotta we gotta try one. Hold on. Real quick. Just just <laughs> every time I pick something up, I'm just filled with awful regret. Let's grab. I think we have some artillery over here. There we go. Heavy artillery. Let's see if we can bomb out. There's no way. There's no way. Let's see if we can bomb out some of... Never mind. I was going to say if we could bomb out some of the friggin' airfields, but they are not just going to sit there and let me aim up and allow that to happen. In fact, while this is going on, we've got to take control of the Super Heavy. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. oh it takes forever. It takes forever for the, the other cannons to wind up. You can see you can choose all the different cannons here. We've got... What do we have over here? What does this thing do? Let's try it out. If I uh, if I shoot at one of the planes over there... Ah, eh, it's just a little shot. Down here, the T-42 getting rocked, baby. Freaking rocked. We've got a little bit of a, a little firepower on that side. Hold on here. There it is. That was a big hit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let... I'm going to let those... Look at the size of these things. Now, these are... 
I, I'm pretty sure these were never made. I think this was all experimental. But look at the ridiculousness compared to the T42. It's... I don't even know. I'd have to look on Wikipedia to find out what the hell the length would have been or something like that. I'm very impressed, though. So far, the... Oh, no. Look at those bombs coming in. Oh, it's like a carpet bombing mission. Those planes are getting shredded by the anti-air, but not before dropping just tons and tons of bombs. I don't even know. Do we have... There's a couple of anti-air over here. More anti-air. Where's all the artillery? Is there even any artillery? I'm not sure that there is. This is bad. This is really bad because while the, uh, the anti-air can definitely get some work done... The problem is, is that we have no way to take down the airfields right now. Let's see how good this position is. Oh. Man, you gotta lead it. You gotta lead it big time. Big time. We're getting burned over here as well, I think, from the fire. Let's see. Old Gray. Old Gray's gotta give it. Old Gray's gotta, gotta give it a little bit of a shot over here. Are we? Am I even hitting this thing? I hit it one time. All right, they're coming in. Hold on. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we got him. We got them. They just hit our bunker big time. But we... Oh, the bunker just got freaking nuked. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, these bombers. These bombers are the scourge of the world. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a little target practice. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can hit with this for sure. We're taking... Ooh, whoa, whoa. All right. We got zapped. But we're also... Yeah, there's no way. The... The Soviet, the problem is the Soviets have no way of getting at these airfields. The artillery was taken out first. And since the artillery was taken out first, that was actually a really smart play on the, uh, on the German side over here. Because the artillery was taken out first, now just like a, a swarm of hornets, these planes can come in and look at it. They're just light, they're just lighting this side up. Almost nothing left. Just a couple of, uh, of anti-air guns. Actually, I think there's, like, one anti-air gun. Oh, it's gonna get, it's gonna get hammered. Look at this. Look at everyone coming in. The bombs come down, and that's it. The Soviets are out. Okay, so we're gonna have to change things up a little bit here. All right, we're over here on the flat map, because I'm very curious. What does it take to take out the experimental Ultra Heavy? We've got a bunch of tank destroyers over here. I'm going to lay down, actually I'm going to lay down about $10,000 worth of them. Can they do it? They have to, they have to be able to do it, right? There's, there's no way that this thing is going to survive. Let me bring it down a little bit. Okay, right about there. Start it off. Tank destroyers versus the experimental ultra heavy. Can they win the day? Are the tank destroyers fantastic at what they do? In fact, you know what? Hold on. I know I'm not the best over here, but I'm going to go ahead and grab one real quick. Because we've got to be able... Right over there. Wow. 400 experience for that shot. That was uh, pretty good. You got their attention. Whoa! And the bullets are going flying already. Holy crap. Shells. You know what? Let's turn sideways. Maybe if we kind of... Oh, wow. Is it... Have we have we damaged it that significantly already? Hold on. Let's keep... How did I miss? That seems pretty odd. You would think that that would have been a good shot. Oh! One hit. And we're immobilized, and our health is almost completely obliterated. Let's get at least one shot in before we get freaking nuked into orbit over here. Now, the reload time on the Ultra Heavy is pretty slow. Well, down we go. Oh, wow! Wow, the tank destroyers did exactly what they were supposed to. All right. So now the Germans have dug in deep. They have a huge battery of artillery. I actually want to see this stuff work. This should be pretty sweet. A huge battery of artillery, a whole bunch of tank destroyers, and then a lot of mobile tank destroyers and fixed cannon tank destroyers. The Soviet side is going to be the push. They are all tanks all the time, a mixture of super heavy tanks, light tanks, and just everything else in between. Let's see what happens. Everything's pretty much equally costed. We're over here in the field of Normandy. Let's freaking start it off. Where, where is that artillery? Hold on. Let me go ahead and slow this down real quick. I, I need to slow this down to watch the ar the artillery go absolutely ballistic. Oh, here it is. Here it is. There's that artillery barrage. Oh, it lights up. Look at it. Hold on. Let me get down here. I, I don't want to. Hold on. I don't want to be in one, so to speak. 
I just wanted to look at it longingly. There we go. Look at the line. Look at the line of fire. Friendly fire is right, yeah, I'll bet. Let's follow some of these shots, though. The shots are getting laid down pretty good. I think, yeah, T-34s. I was about to say, a couple of those T-34s moving very, very quickly. And the Soviet side pushing up hard. Now, Stuka over here, good tank, but no mobility on that turret. Whoa! That's a Storm Tiger right there. The Storm Tiger missile tank throwing the missiles down range big time. You know what? We haven't, hold on. We've never messed with one of these. I wonder, oh wow, hold on. I don't think, yes, what a hit. Oh, what an awesome hit we just got. Man, we got a nice hit in right there. The Storm Tiger pulling back. Let's see if we can get that rocket in slow motion. Hold on. There it is. The rocket is fired. Let's go ahead and follow it over here. Downrange, downrange, that T-42's looking like a juicy target. No, it's gonna fall short. It's gonna fall short of the T-42. This Storm Tiger looking pretty beat up. Hold on, let's see if we can uh, over here some, uh, oh, that it's not gonna happen. Some repairs being done, but look at this, right in your face, right in your face. Oh, it was horrifying. Oh, here we go. Storm Tiger throws down the missiles with a good hit. Immobilizing one of the tanks over there. Pieces are flying through the sky and the Storm Tiger is down. The Germans, the Germans need some help over here. I don't really think I'm the one to help them, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's give it a go. Ready and fire. Oh wow, that, that is close. Okay, that is real close. Like, like he's coming over the, he's coming over the berm. This is super bad. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do well from this distance. Oh boy, oh boy, fire, 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 fire. There we, okay, good, good, good. Over on the side and light him up. Nice, a good shot. A good shot from the German side. All right, I'm gonna let them continue to do it so we can watch the artillery. Over here, the big T-42 starting to push up. Hold on, if you guys want, there we go. If you guys want to see, we can see all of the armor and the health of the very, oh wow. They are not, they're doing nothing against this. Like nothing against it. You need tank destroyers for this. There, there's no way that the Germans gonna pull this out unless they have something hidden somewhere. Now there's some more stuff over here. Oh boy. Oh, they're both up. Both of the T-42s are up and they are rolling in. Now there is some damage that's been done over here, but that's just the armor. There's still so much they're going to have to chew through. Oh, there's an anti-tank over here. There's an anti-tank over here. We might do well. We might do well if we can keep firing. We're hitting it. We're hitting it. It's taking forever, but we're getting there. Another shot right there coming straight in the front. I wonder if you can kind of like hit underneath by the tracks. Oh, that one like ricocheted up. Oh, this is so bad. I can't believe that it doesn't see us. Oh, no. Oh, it's actually going to run over us. We're still alive? We're still alive? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, right underneath. Right underneath the tracks, right here. Oh! <laughs> There's no way that the Germans can pull this out. The artillery shells are bursting, but this thing just has so much health left. You can see right over here, the anti-tank gun still trying to get work done. Whoa, just barely got missed. Just barely got missed again, and now, there's nothing left, and it is a Soviet victory. All right, let's do one more campaign. We're gonna do it in possible mode again. So heavy formation of German Stukes is approaching. It should not be a problem for you. Okay, so a lot of anti-tank stuff. That's fine. I think we should be able to do quite well as long as we prepare accordingly. All right, difficulty impossible. So we get 3,500 less dollars. That's basically what impossible is. Wow, uh, they weren't kidding when they said a freaking host of Stukes. Uh, oh, is it all? No, there's a couple, there's some other things back here, but there is a lot of them. So a lot of light tanks are going to be the way to go, as well as possibly some long-ranged fixed artillery. All right, we've got a Calliope, a bomber way in the back. We've got a whole mess of light and medium tanks, as well as some anti-tank turrets. Uh, we still have a hundred bucks. We could put down some landmines if we wanted to. How far up can you put these landmines? Oh, you can put them real far up. Oh, it's perfect. Let's put one right there. And where's a nice other, like a good concentration right over here? 
Put another one right there. All right. I'm not going to control anything. We're going to see if my setup is just good enough to make this work on the impossible mode. So here we go. Now, are they going to head for this landmine? Can they see it? I think we would only get like one tank, if anything. It's getting close. Hold on. Let me slow it down. Let me slow it down while it comes in close to the landmine. Oh, that's BS. It was right there. It was right there. Come on, man. All right. Oh, wow. The anti-tank's already coming in hot. We've got M3 leaves over here. Rounding out across the across the embankments and stuff. Lining up. Now, they have superior speed and agility. It's all a matter of whether or not they can light up these guys appropriately. Let's get down here and take a look real quick. This M3 Lee lining up for a shot. Start off. And there's the shot right there. And it goes high. The Stuke's so close to the ground. It's like, it's just almost like a pancake. It's like flat. We are getting rolled. We are getting absolutely rolled right now. What do we have in the back over here? Do we? Wow. Anti-air flat cannons way in the back as well as some heavy artillery. Oh, this artillery is going to be a pain in my ass. The Calliope raining missiles down. Doing well, but I, it's just, I don't think it's going to be enough. And the Calliope is down. Oh, no, it's not. It just hit a tree. A lot of trees in the way over here. Kind of messing with the aiming. Oh, look at all these stooks. Oh, my God. Oh, there's there's no way we're going to be able to deal with this. The bomber can only do so much. And the other issue is, is that there's so much anti-air in the back of the field that dealing with it is going to be a pain in the ass. Wow, those rockets just hitting one after another after another. But the stu... Oh, they're rolling up. They're rolling up. The Calliope's getting just devastated right now. It's down. All right. Oh. Oh, no. I was going to say, we've got to turn one of these bombers around so they can bomb out the stu... Oh, we're, we're done. We're done. There's no way. The artillery firing from all the way across the field. Holy crap. All right. New plan. All right. We've got a huge line of artillery on the ground. And that is going to effectively allow us to have a lot less of the tanks, though. We've got double the planes. Two top, well, twice as many, actually. So we're going to see how well they do. The artillery should lay down some decent firepower over here for the most part. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, hold on. Let's go ahead and get inside of one of these real quick. We've got to do as much damage as we can prior to the arrival right there prior to the arrival of all these tanks they are pushing up big time actually they're just about to crest that hill that we just fired at hold on let's go down a little bit right about there should be good nice a huge destruction right there for us that worked out smashingly over here let's fire and right in the middle of all those vehicles we took one right on the side that was actually a fantastic hit back over here starting to get a hang of the artillery Starting to get a hang of the artillery big time, actually. Oh, he's immobilized, so let's go and try and finish him. Let oh, there's a tree in the way. We're immobilizing more tanks. We're hitting more tanks. But they have literally just forced their way through our line right now to the point where, yep, we immobilized four. We killed one. But in the end, we just couldn't handle it. And once again, these dudes managed to press it. Now, we can't use... We cannot use bunkers for this challenge. So we have to do it the old-fashioned way with nothing really to hold these guys back. All right. And it's another defeat. So this board is actually pretty damn tough. That's going to be it for now. Total Tank Simulator, a blast to play so far. Make sure to keep giving me suggestions on what we should do in the comment section below, and we'll put those battles together. Impossible's pretty tough. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to think about what we can do to get past that board. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.